Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about Omega zip drive uh, used on an old computer, a DOS computer, and actually an Amstrad PPC 512. And um, yeah, I'm just going to show you uh, how I got it to work today. As you can see, uh, I booted it up with a driver. Uh, very easy, it's a zip, uh, Parm zip. It's called the driver. It's made by a German, I guess. He's called Klaus. Um, I was. Um, it was very easy to install. I just added um, the sys file in the config sys. No parameters needed. No nothing. Booted it up, and it worked. So now, as you can see, it found my parallel port zip drive and it connected it as drive C. It's a very small driver. It only uh, occupies about three kilobytes of memory. It works on any AD86 and above, and you need DOS 2.x or higher. Very important notice, uh, it only works on Omega SIP uh, parallel version. It does not work on the plus version. The difference between the Normal and the plus version is that the plus version also supports SCSI. So it has both SCSI and parallel port. Okay, so what has happened uh, when I installed the uh, driver? Well, I got the C drive. Let's go to C. Now we can hear the C drive is uh, starting up. Makes some noise. C is there. It works. Let me start Norton Commander. I was actually surprised to see that Norton Commander works on an old computer like this. I was pretty sure it would uh, need 286 or maybe a 386, but it works. It just takes some time to load. And there we have it. So now you can see that I have many uh, directories here, games and demos, music, and it's so easy to use. You see it's quick, it responds like a hard drive. Um, actually that reminds me, uh, I don't know exactly the speed of a parallel port uh, Omega SIP, but it feels like it's much quicker than uh, the floppy drive. And I'm pretty sure um, the specs on a parallel port is quicker than most floppies. Yeah, you can see here, um, I can maybe just start something just to see. Um, I recommend exiting Norton Commander before you actually start it, before a Norton Commander, it, uh, because it uses so much memory. Let's start part two. See, it's loading data. And it's quick. That's it. Then you're in. Yeah. Actually, when I um, I saw this demo earlier today, I knew straight away that I needed it. So I went online um, and bought it. And just a couple of hours later, I got an email uh, from Klaus saying that uh, he would send me the registered version later today. Without registering, uh, it will only last, the driver will stop working after about seven minutes. Um, so, but it's more enough to know that it works. And uh, as you can see, it's very good and it's quick. Um, yeah, thanks to Klaus, I can now uh, have a hard drive, in brackets, um, on my old Amstrad. I also have several other machines like an IBM 50. 5155 and a Schneider Euro PC1 and I expect to be able to use the zip drive on all those older machines. Yeah, before I leave, um, the tool, the zip drive also includes uh, some utilities. Let me go in and have a look. Um, it's uh, I LPT test program. Just to test what kind of uh, if your uh, printer port supports bi-directional communication, 
And there is a zip man, it's a tool for uh, partitioning and formatting uh, zip drives and a zip copy to copy partitions within uh, the zip floppy. Okay, that's uh, all uh, from uh, me this time. I hope uh, you liked it. I hope you uh, want to get a zip drive yourself. They are very cheap to buy. I've seen them online for about uh, yeah between ten and and uh, twenty dollars slash euros. So uh, it's nothing to think about. If you're into old computers, buy a zip drive. Bye.